When it comes to Golang, the difference between you and a complete noob is indistinguishable with your pull requests. And we're here to fix that. So I actually decided to reverse the order of this video and show you the benefits first and then show you like how we get that installed. So I'm looking, I'm going to be looking at some Go code here um, that is not well formatted. So it is using spaces instead of tabs. Um, if I go up to the top, uh, you can see that I'm not following the common convention for my imports. Uh, and there's probably possibly numerous other things. I might have accidentally put a semicolon somewhere. Um, because I'm using go imports and go format and vim go, when I save this file, you're going to see that it rearranges my imports. Uh, it lets me know that I'm not following some conventions, like I'm supposed to have a comment for this. So this should say uh, default directory for let's encrypt. Um, also, if I forgot to import something that's part of a core module and I go to save, it adds it back. I'm going to see if it does it for all modules. I'm going to try saving that one real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, so look at that. It adds it back. Uh, so you can start importing from anything that you have in your Go source directory and it'll uh, figure it out. So then if I actually have a syntax error, of course, it'll let me know of that. So if I'm doing something like this, now uh, I see that CAS is undefined. Also, if I just start typing, I get command line completion that I can do with tab. And this is all just the basic setup. I'm not doing anything too fancy here. Uh, another thing that I'd like to point out is that now if I go to TLS config and I hit my leader key and then S, which I have my leader key, which is default backslash mapped to comma. So if I hit comma and S, it opens up a split window and up top is the source file where the thing that I was resting my key on was defined. So this is the config struct in the TLS module up top. I quit that out and then I'm back to this one. So I can easily go look at source code and um, scan it and, and, and learn more. So I'm gonna quit out of this and then I'm gonna show you how we got to this point. So uh, I'm assuming that you've already used Go somewhat. I've got some notes here in the article. Um, basically, I mean, just want to check that you actually have Go installed and that your Go path is set appropriately. Um, also, I would suggest using the latest Vim from Brew or from a PPA if you're on Ubuntu. Uh, and if you didn't have Brew, there's the little thing for that. And then uh, I've got basic setup for Vim if you haven't set up Vim before, but that really ought to go in another article, to be honest. So here's what's important. Um, if you're a Go developer uh, for more than five seconds, then you've heard of these and have some of them installed already. If not, this is pretty much just copy and paste. You want Go imports is uh, like Go format plus it also manages imports. We'll see a demo of that in just a second. Go code is uh, for co uh, code completion. Go def will take whatever your cursor is on and then look up source where that's defined. Um, Go lint, obviously linting tool, error check is in the same vein, uh, a little bit more extensive. And then Oracle, I'm not sure what it is quite yet, but it's magic apparently. Um, <clears throat> so for the most part, we're just gonna be talking about the simple stuff to get you started. Um, so I don't yet have uh, Vim Go installed yet on this. So I'm going to just copy and paste. It's going to clone into my Vim bundle folder so that it can be loaded with pathogen. And then some things it's going to automatically detect, some things we need to tell it about or install separately. One of the things we need to install separately is you complete me. Um, so this is part of the code completion tool. And we actually need to have CMake installed and to go into that directory, download a bunch of modules and, and do an installation process uh, before you complete me will work. So I already had CMake installed. I'm going to go into the directory. I'm going to run this git submodule update because there we did a git clone of you complete me, but it actually relies on other projects 
and they're linked as submodules. So we do that and then we can do install. This is going to take a minute. It's just downloading. And then we use install sh. This compiles some modules that are actually written in C. I'm not clear on what they are. Something Python something or other native modules. And then finally, I'm going to get out of that directory. And I just need to set up a few things in my vimrc. So I'm going to need to tell go import or tell um, go vim that go imports is installed and it should use that instead of go format. Um, I also am going to want to turn all the different highlighting operators on. And then I need to tell Syntastic that go, go lint, and error check are all available for linting. I could probably remove go from that list to make it a little bit faster, actually. And then this uh, maps go dep to the leader key and then vs and t for vertical split, horizontal split, and tab split. Um, so leader key is by default backslash, but uh, up in my vim example, I set it to comma because that's what's more common and it's a lot easier to reach. So what that'll, well, we'll see that in a minute. I'll show you the example. Um, and if you find, so I've already got those put in my vimrc. Um, right here. And then what you may find um, is that opening up your projects becomes a bit slower. So let me open up a file here. See, it takes some time before it opens. And if that bothers you, um, then you can just rum rough, you complete me, um, and or limit the number of static checkers or you know re reduce the number of, of plugins or modules that you're loading. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.